Welcome to Viking Basketball with head coach Jace Coburn. The Vikings just now getting back into Big Sky Conference basketball play. It'll be Big Sky the remainder of the season, and this is the most important time of the year. I know that has to be very exciting for you. These are the most important games you play all year. Try to get great positioning for the Big Sky Tournament and have a shot at the big dance. So uh, energy is up and a lot of excitement here uh, as you prepare for these games. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it almost feels like a new year. Um, you know, we had a small taste of uh, conference play uh, when we went out to Idaho State and Weber State. Um, so we were really locked in in those games, um, had a lot of fun. We competed at a high level. And uh, so it was kind of interesting going back to non-conference play a little bit. and. And then uh, now starting conference play up again, but I, I know um, our team's excited uh, to play, you know, conference games, and and uh, obviously these ones count for something. All right, the Vikings did start out one and one in those first two conference games in early December. They were on the road, so it's always good to get a split on the road. And coaches, we look at the schedule now. You have six of the next eight scheduled here at home. So at one and one tied for fourth place early in the conference season. This is really an opportunity for you guys uh, to get a head start in conference play and try to get yourselves in that top half. Yeah, no doubt. Looking at, at, at conference play, um, you know, like you mentioned, we have the home games and, and uh, you know, it's a really good chance for us to get out to a quick start. Um, being one and one on the road and, and, you know, the Idaho State, Weber State road trip's a very difficult trip, um, you know, against two, two really good teams. and. And uh, so, yeah, it would be nice to get back home and try and get off to a fast start, um, you know, and, and uh, you know, just keep building on that each and every game. And as you look at your upcoming opponents this week, it's Eastern Washington and Idaho. Eastern Washington with the new head coach, David Riley. Idaho, a team uh, that has improved a bit, and they're trying to make uh, their waves uh, up in the standings. So uh, any different looks from those teams as you go into this week's play? Yeah, I mean, you know, we know that, uh, you know, Eastern Washington's been playing really good basketball um, through the non-conference schedule. And, and uh, you know, they, we, we know that they're a very talented team that plays really well together. Um, and they've been playing really well. Um, so, we, you know, we're expecting a really good game from them. And then, you know, we know Idaho's really improved from last year. Um, you know, they're, they're scoring at a high rate. And, uh, you know, Coach Claus is doing a good job. And, and uh, so it'll be fun. It'll be two fun games. Eastern Washington, uh, four and four on the road this year. They played a lot of road games, so uh, they are road tested as we are playing uh, the Eagles this week. Uh, Coach, as we look back really quickly, uh, since those conference games, you had some uh, non-conference contests. Uh, you've only played one game at home uh, since just before Thanksgiving. That has to be a little tough. You haven't been home much. Um, the last few conference games we saw, we saw the Vikings lose twice by just three points. Don't want to bring up bad memories, but you had shots to tie uh, in each of those games in the final seconds. And then a 19-point loss against a really good Utah State team on the road. Let me ask you as a coach, uh, what's tougher, losing a close game like those or, or maybe losing a game where uh, maybe in the last few minutes you didn't really have a shot at it? Man, it's tough. I don't like losing it at all. So I don't really know which one to pick. Um, you know, but those those two games that we dropped by three, I mean, I, you know, it, it was a good experience for us. Um, it was a good experience to, you know, when you lose close games, it's, it's a good experience to, to go back and, and figure out exactly like what happened, um, you know, and, and putting your team in a tight situation like that will help you for conference play so you don't make the same mistake the next time. Um, so, you know, there's valuable lessons obviously learned from, from losing close games. Um, so I, I would say that uh, losing um, games by, that aren't close are tougher. Um, you know, and Utah State's a really good team. I mean, Utah State's very talented. They're well coached. They play hard. Um, you know, they're going to be one of the best teams in the Mountain West. So, you know, but we went out there and battled. Um, you know, kind of got away from us a little bit there towards the end. But um, yeah, so I, I'd probably go with the losing by, by less than. Um, or by more than uh, three. Okay. All right. As we look ahead now, the next 10 weeks, it's all Big Sky basketball. Coach, you're 10 games in. Uh, as in your first head coaching experience, what have you learned about your team uh, after 10 games and maybe, uh, maybe a one or two things that you think, okay, we're going to get better at this as the season progresses? I think uh, the thing I've learned about our team is uh, we're very competitive. Um, we play really hard. 
Um, I, I don't think there's been a game so far this season where I, I walked out and said, man, we didn't play hard and we didn't compete. Um, I feel like every single time we've stepped on the floor, we've competed really hard. I think the thing for us is that, is that you know, with me being a new coach and we have new players and, and players back from last year under a different head coach, it's all about us all figuring out each other. Um, you know, we've only been together for 10 games and, you know, we've played some teams that have been together for four years. And um, so, yeah, so I, I, you know, looking forward, I'm excited um, on this back stretch. You know, I mean, we got 20 games, about 20 games left. And, and uh, you know, I think it's just, it's just going to be a process of everybody getting to know each other and, and um, you know, and continue to build the chemistry together and continue to play hard and continue to compete. Portland State at home this week as Big Sky Conference play begins. You can watch all Viking games in the Big Sky Conference on ESPN+. Plus. We'll also return with the Viking podcast. You'll be able to hear that at GoVikes.com. We'll be back next week with that. For all your information on Vikings basketball, go to GoVikes.com. Mm -hmm.